a few days ago, I asked my son, Kevin, 15 years old, Kevin, do you miss Florida? Is there anything you regret about living Florida? In a very nonchalant way, Kevin answered, no. Actually, if I had any regret at all, it would mean that I did not learn the lessons I was there to learn. Kevin's simple yet profound statement catapulted me to when I was 15 years old myself. It was a hot summer Saturday afternoon. I was walking home from the tennis court with my father. I lost! I lost, Dad! I lost the game! I lost the tennis game! It was unfair, so unfair. Did you see the size of my opponent's arm? It was bigger than my two thighs combined. What about her hand? She could hold my head in her hand. It was so unfair. I hate this game. I hate tennis. I hate life. Are you listening to me, Dad? Do you listen to me? Dad, are you with me? As we walk through the doorway to our home, we could smell mother's delicious dinner. And father said to me, Claudia, go wash your hand and let's join your mother for a dinner. As we sat down and mother was serving dinner, mother asked me, looking at me, how was the game? All I could hear was the vastness and the depth of silence. Silence was so loud, I couldn't even hear my own breath. When my father's voice pulled me out of the tower of my own negative emotions and set me free to climb the mountain, the mountain of my own self-discovery, the discovery of my true character. My father said in a very loving and caring voice, Claudia, Claudia, what voice within you do you listen to? Do you listen to the voice of the victim? Or do you listen to the voice of the victor? Do you listen to the voice of defeat? Or do you listen to the voice of learning and the voice of opportunity? Claudia, choose. Fast forward three years later, I was 18 years old. I had just arrived in Tokyo, Japan, with the commitment to live there for one year to learn the Japanese language and the Japanese culture. I had just called my mother. Mom, mother, I need to go home. Do you hear me? I need to go home. I made a mistake. I know I made a mistake. This is not the place for me. I live in a house that is the size of my own bedroom at home. I sleep in the same room with three other people and my bed is a mattress that I rolled out at night and I roll up in the morning. I'm not meant to live this way. Mother, can you get me a ticket to come home this week? And I heard once again, silence. But this time silence had an echo and the echo was telling Claudia, which voice do you listen to? The voice of the victim? or the voice of the victor, when my mother said to me in a very patient voice, Claudia, remember your goal. Remember why you are in Tokyo. When you focus on your goal, 
the price to pay is quite small for the price of the greater satisfaction of achieving your goal at that moment I remember my father's love I remember my father's wisdom and I was grateful to be in Tokyo fellow Toastmasters friends what voice within you do you listen to? Do you listen to the voice of the victim when you have a challenge? Or do you hear the voice of victory? When you transcend the limitations of your life condition and you make new decisions aligned with new actions, you experience a level of satisfaction beyond your wildest imagination. Fellow Toastmasters, friends, which voice do you listen to? Listen to the voice of the victor within you. You were born with it.